We're following the breaking news. A source now telling CNN parts of that Belgium terror cell, that sleeper cell, remain at large right now. We're back with Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii. Uh, Congresswoman, this Belgium plot, uh, it, it involved all sorts of characters, apparently, and it's still out there, as you just heard. Uh, should all U.S. law enforcement be on a higher state of alert right now? Uh, yes, I think there's no question about that. And I think in addition to that, we really need to look at uh, what are some of the weaknesses that we have here, uh, here at home. And there's two areas that I'd like to point out. First of all, as we look at the open travel in Europe amongst the EU member countries specifically, as we look at the porous borders that exist between Turkey and Syria and how people seem to freely move uh, from, let's say, France or Belgium through Turkey and into Syria and back out again without being tracked, uh, we've got to look at our visa waiver program here, which is of great, great concern, given the fact that people are able to, as members of these visa waiver uh, countries, basically get on a plane and come to the United States without really having a history of, of either Europe or the United States understanding that they have traveled through Turkey and into Syria and are part of this uh, radical Islamic extremist terrorist movement. Uh, that's something that I have called for in the past and continue to call for a suspension of the visa waiver program until this is brought under control and these borders are controlled in particular, excuse me, in particular uh, between Turkey uh, and Syria. Well, why isn't the Turkish government, Turkey is a member of NATO, doing more to stop that kind of free flow between Turkey and Turkey? And Syria, I know many of your colleagues in Congress are very upset about that. I know many administration officials I've spoken with over the past few days. They don't know why Turkey is not taking more direct action. I think it's a great question. I think there's Turkey must do more. Turkey needs to do more. Uh, the, the lax uh, enforcement that we've seen across the borders so far has been unacceptable, especially for a NATO country like Turkey. Uh, and the lack of really enforced terror watch list that people from Turkey to France and different EU countries, United States, uh, can tap into to recognize exactly who these people are, where they're going and what they're doing so that we can prevent these kinds of attacks from happening again. And I think this is where countries like the United States, uh, countries within Europe, uh, need to exercise their muscle and their leverage to get Turkey to step up to the game. Are you uh, concerned that maybe some of the allies out there aren't themselves not doing enough to monitor, to track some of these terror suspects out there, Congresswoman? Uh, yes, I am concerned, and in particular between, again, these EU member countries, um, that these terror watch lists are not where they need to be. Uh, again, that these individuals are not being tracked as closely as they need to be, if at all. And unless and until that happens, you can talk about intelligence sharing and other things that need to occur. But if the value and the quality of that intelligence is not accurate or not complete, then that just shows we've got some huge gaping holes uh, within our national security. Uh, you served uh, the United